Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in the world. Just a little short video I thought I'd make to show you something I made a long time ago. Labour saving device. If you check out some of my previous videos, you'll see me welding these Pegson power screen cone crusher top shells. Come off these machines here. And on the inside, takes multiple runs of weld. And that brings that landing area for the wear part back to size once it's machined. So what you're looking at is a large welding manipulator rotator. So the table, as you can see, is very slowly rotating. that is the traveling of the weld and then what I done is I knocked together a very simple arm adjustable telescopes here and the telescopes there and it lifts and swings on this point here just some very simple super simple nip brackets just with steel that we had laying around in the scrap I wanted to make this um, basically to save me sitting in there. I was starting, my lower back was starting to get sore. A very long and monotonous work. Sometimes you feel like it, sometimes you don't. So yeah, I made this welding torch arm holder. And what I have is I have a start point. This is the marker, very simply. So when this marker lines up, just a simple chalk mark here. I simply screw this handle three times with the tip of my finger. That handle that handle is mounted to a sliding bar, telescoping bar. And it just simply moves the torch up or down, depending on which way you turn the handle. So super, super, super simple. And as I said, allows me to sit, surf the net. Takes approximately 15 minutes for one rotation. So every 15 minutes I climb up, turn that little handle three times, and then sit back down for another 15 minutes. I could just burn a roll of wire after another. Today we're burning a stainless wire. And this will burn and burn and burn and burn with probably once every two or three rotations. All I have to do is give the welding shroud a little clean. Super simple. Trying to remember how long ago I actually built that arm. But it's at least 10 to 15 years ago. As I said, some, sometimes it's not suitable. If one of these is badly worn in one area, I have to build it up first, manually by hand, fill the hole in. Or if there's two or three spots, it's up and down. That's not suitable for this because it has to work on a concentric circle. If the circle is, uh, if it's not round, uh, well basically if it's not a circle, it, it can't weld it. You need super high-tech uh, robot um, that can learn and also react. You're into incredible technology and money, which is no comparison to something that I knocked up in a few hours with bits of scrap metal that does 90% of what I need it to do. So yeah, I'm very, very happy with how it works. So as you can see, we're approaching the start point.
As I said, that's the cone crusher. That's the meal wear part. And that fits up in here. That's the concave, I think it is. Or ma sorry, mantle, that's the mantle. And the concave goes in here. Oops. One, two, three. Yeah, that's a ready for another 15 minutes. You see the joints are simple large nuts, so just tighten them up and that, that positions the arm at the angle I require. That's a lock nut there to set the telescope to where I need it. And the same here. Another telescoping joint. So all those all of those sliding joints allow the torch to reach anything on that table, any height and width and diameter and size. So yeah, just wanted to show that little, little tool. Give you guys something to look at, keep you filled in with what's happening. I've just been busy as, as can be at work. I've had no time to get videos on YouTube busy with family stuff, getting getting new bathroom and the house painted and things and um, other bits and pieces and vehicles breaking down and quads breaking down and Christmas of course in the middle of it and a few other things but I've got some major video projects in the pipeline so I'd love it if you guys would join my channel, subscribe if you wish to see more be greatly appreciated. I'm trying to break 100,000 subscribers at the minute. So yeah, I'd love to have you on board. Lots of engineering videos, lots of off-roading, ATVing, 4x4ing, lots of tractors and engines. And uh, we have some major machine shop, lathe and milling machine action to come as well. And I have a huge historical video that I'd also like to edit and upload with a lot of our company's our family's history and background. One of our largest projects to date. So yeah guys, if you'd like to see 